Oh man, it feels like I just made this video this past week. Props to Elf for putting out some of the best plays from week four already. I was just literally just, I swear I just did the video a couple days ago and then now I'm here. Oh, good job, you guys are efficient. What a week it's been so far. Uh, just a wild weekend, just fully slated of games. It, as I am filming this right now, uh, they actually just announced today that they are actually having a all-star game attached to the season. Honestly, I think it's um, pretty interesting. They're actually gonna hold the game over in Berlin. Uh, it's very unique. I've, I've always stated that to really draw fans in with, with the game of American football, you always want to kind of have a culmination of all the best players, and obviously that is the Americans. Now, some of you have actually made some really interesting comments uh, from my last video. I'll make sure to post that up in the iCard. Uh, basically talking about how uh, maybe without Americans or European type players, like would the league exist? I mean, that's a really interesting debate. I could go on all day with that. But the fact of the matter is to have an all-star game in Berlin to really expand the knowledge and the exposure of the game. I would love to see like a skills event for the all-star game and then try to uh, give that some exposure, you know, put that on streaming TV or whatever. I think that could really work. And I, honestly, I do believe that it could uh, kind of spark some interest in the game. So I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. But that's just from today, what they announced. Uh, obviously week four and week four reaction. Um, I kind of glanced over the scores from the, from the past weekend. As always, I have not seen anything. This is my first time watching this. I'm actually very surprised how quickly they, they kind of pushed this stuff out today. So, congrats. It'll be good. Praying for Cologne. Got his man. Ooh. Boy, they are really hampering on the one on one matchups again this, this past week. Come on, Cologne. Y'all got to be better than that. Cologne has like most of the talent in that region anyway. I don't know what the heck they're doing. Frankfurt has been very, very sneaky this past week. They've been just been getting slowly, just a little bit better week by week, and ooh, they're gonna be interesting to watch. Oh, Lord Jesus, what a catch. Dang. <laughs> That's a heck of a catch. You just caught it over the DB's body, and not even a, not even a glance, wow. I assume he's German, that's pretty, it's a solid catch. Wow. Yeah, let me see it again, damn. Over top, whoa. It's a lot of body in your face. Over, one on one again, Ooh. Wow. So that's that's what all teams are doing, I guess, against Cologne. It's like, you know what, one-on-one -on -one matchups, you guys will just size them up, we'll be fine. <laughs> Defensive, here we go again. I'm gonna have a meltdown already. It hasn't even been a couple of days since I did the last one. I'm gonna have a meltdown. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Cologne, what you got? Boom. Huh. Oh, what are you doing? You just bop it out? What's, what's going on? I'm so confused as to what happened. <laughs> I guess he scored for fun. Okay. <laughs> it's that weird interaction between refs and players where like they'll do something after the play that you think is legitimate and then the um, like the ref referees look around like, I don't know. <laughs> uh... Centurions, kick back. What we got? Oh, go, 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 go. There, it's gone. Wow. Everybody was lackadaisical on that. Oh my god. Special team, why? Leipzig? Oh, a lefty. Ooh, baby. On the left side, that's Yoshito. Dude, what is up with these one on one matches this week? This is insane. Excellent job by Omi to turn around. This is literally all I've seen. So they must be doing something in the box. Oh, yeah. Ah! Stuttgart's linebacker actually played in the Polish League, Zach Blair. 
did step out. I know him pretty well. Right before, no, actually, he did call a touchdown in high week this week. Oh, Aaron Ellis first pass. Oh, Adrian Ellis. Off. Ooh, and pick six. There he goes. There we go, defense. Finally, we got some pride this week. Woof. <laughs> A little two step on that. Boy, Leipzig is losing it. Jesus. Finally, something good. All right, finally, some kick returns. This is exciting stuff. You get some special teams into it, it's good. Go, go. Boom, that's all you need. There's nothing more sweeter than just seeing the returners you know, move the hips back and forth. Oh. Underneath. Oh. I love Stugard's tight end. That dude is massive. I, I swear, I, I couldn't tell if he's like a like a fullback or if he's a linebacker or what. But he was just running around. I've seen him around all day. Oh, Hamburg, Berlin. Defense, defense, defense. There you go. Oh, damn. Get smacked. Boy, he got smacked. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude. <laughs> quarterback. Oh, my God. The hey, honestly, I actually, it wasn't bad, bad defense. They actually did a pretty nice job. Just the back end, you got to stay, stay tight on. Safeties cannot give that up. A couple of things I kind of noticed this week, and I know it's it's only a couple slated games that happened this past weekend. It's, like I, I've said last video, you're... I'm always noticing trends, you know, it's always kind of a consistent trend between most of the games uh, every single week. And the one thing I kind of noticed more, uh, teams are going more, kind of, teams are going away, going away from the running attack and going more towards now either the middle of the field or they're going more so one-on-one -on -one matchups on the sidelines. And kind of the interesting thing that I'm seeing here is they're getting these bigger plays deeper down the field and I'm not seeing any safety help whatsoever. And so what's happening more is, uh, what that basically tells me is that they're sending more blitzes off the edge or in the middle, whatever they're doing. And that's kind of the thing I've been seeing a little bit more. They're trying to force these throws early on. They're trying to force more pick sixes, which is fine. I, I get it. Um, <clears throat> I... I it's, it's hard to, to kind of watch, I guess. Um, I think there's a lot of teams that gotta have, they have to go play more fundamental type of defense, which is just, you know, sit back with your safeties, really disguise what you're doing, and then go from there. But that's kind of what I've been seeing. It's, it's pretty fundamental, different changes that they're doing uh, from this past week. And, and honestly, with Hamburg kind of changing up their defensive coordinator and their whole coaching situation, they, they look good, you know, uh, first game back after their coach was uh, let go, but they look good. Um, I just, man, <laughs> there's parts of me is kind of like screaming a little bit. It's like, don't do that. Do this instead. I'm like, oh, losing it. But uh, it's interesting. It's, it's, you're, I'm starting to notice certain trends are kind of staying, staying the same. And there's other things that are kind of popping up just based off of scheming every single week. So um curious to see what a brand new weekend is going to bring uh week five as always guys if you guys like uh these videos like and subscribe leave a comment and see you guys next week mm -hmm.